Same request asking what did I do yesterday to different AIs. Look at this. One of them is about to change how you work. One is ChatGPT, another one is Claude. ChatGPT is like, I can't track your activities unless you told me about them. Claude, on the other hand, uses MCP, connects to my AI second brain, connects to my calendar, is searching my memory and my calendar. It outlines exactly what I did, with whom I had meetings, what I attended, also key notes and takeaways I took during that meeting, and then what I did in the evening and the night. Now, before you come at me and say that, oh yeah, ChatGPT also have MCPs, also important that ChatGPT right now retains all the data about you indefinitely, even deleted chats. But I don't want to hammer on that. I made two videos on this topic. You can go watch those. Today, I want to talk about Claude because I still see that 99% of people don't know what's Claude don't know what's MCPs and it's absolutely just completely transformed AI space. It completely transformed my life and I want to share with you my experience with Claude. If you use Claude, please let me know in the comments below. Is your experience the same? Do you like Claude? And let's try to convince people and move them to the dark side of actually useful AI. The funny thing is that a few months after ChatGPT came out, I made a video about prompt engineering and how Anthropic creators of Claude have been hiring prompt engineers and paying them half a million as salaries. I have been aware of Anthropic, have been using Claude, but now I'm canceling my ChatGPT subscription and I went all in on Claude with their highest subscription, which is like 200 bucks for max plan. And I will probably pay them 200 bucks forever. But you can do a lot with Claude, even with their cheaper plan, which is 20 bucks a month and even free. So 99% of people think that Claude is for developers. And I would actually argue that if it's good for developers, it's good for everybody else because interface is same as ChatGPT. The only thing is that Claude actually adds features that work really well when we add them instead of ChatGPT just packaging bunch of features and promises which kind of half work. Okay, we can ask another thing, like what did I read recently? And ChatGPT pulls from the memory, but it pulls only 1,400 words, right? On our hand, Claude is using MCP to search my AI second brain, which is full of readwise highlights or podcasts or YouTube transcripts. And it also knows when I read what because I have timestamps. So it knows that recently I was reading about AI second brain solutions, EU AI Act. I was looking into tech industry updates, MIT paper retraction, and so on. The real question is how do you take Claude at its base and connect it to your AI second brain or any other tools available. And I'm going to show you exactly that. There are really two ways. One is super easy. Another one is super easy, but could look complicated, but it's crazy easy too. You need to go to your profile settings. And right here we have integrations. And under integrations, you have already baked in integrations, but on top of that, you can have custom integrations. So in this case, I have Jervis Junior V2, which is my AI second brain. I have Brave Research. I have Memory, Slack, Puppeteer. AI interact with website Superbase, so I can manage backend of my AI second brain and data and how it actually functions. Airtable, Make, and so on. So if you want to add an integration, all you have to do is click Add Integration give it a name and then you have to paste URL. So it will depend on the provider that you want to connect to, for example, HubSpot, no taking apps, whatever it is, right? Some will have advanced integrations where you just literally just have URL. In this case, it's make, and I'm going to show you where to get that URL. Others, if they don't have URL, you will need to go to Claude settings and then developer tools. You will see these integrations here as well, but you will click edit configure file, select the file, here you will have to paste a snippet of code from your MCP provider's instructions and provide your authentication if that's required. Because my AI second brain is built in Make, all I have to do is just go to my profile and then Make has API MCP access. Here you click add token and instead of API token, you click MCP token. Give it a name like, let's say I will do now test, click add, and then you copy this to the clipboard. Then you go back to Claude and in inside integrations, you will paste this URL and then you click add. Here you go. From now on, all your scenarios integrated with Claude. 
So now if you build a scenario, if you have any integrations, webhooks, whatever it is inside of Make, you can access those and trigger those based on the context of what you are doing inside of Claude. And if you haven't heard what is MCP, is a new kind of like standard and protocol. And the analogy Anthropic made themselves is like USB stick to other softwares, but it's unified way and it's improving every day and it's widely adopted. That's why ChatGPT has it too now. Just I would not plug anything right now to ChatGPT anyways. And the other question is why most people don't know about Claude. The thing is that Antrophic is not really doing marketing. ChatGPT completely consumed everybody's mind. The truth is the first to the market rarely means that it's the best. ChatGPT is like jack of all trades, right? So it does a lot of things, but none is really that good. Claude masters certain areas that actually matter. So Claude doesn't generate images, right? But again, if you want any type of image generation, you can just connect MCP or create a scenario with make accessing any other AI image generators and use that connection to generate images inside of Claude. Now I would like to answer more of the questions that I get about Claude. Is Claude really better than ChatGPT for like actual work? Think about like that. ChatGPT is like Instagram. It's fun. You can just use it on a go. And I know that many people use it just more like for fun. I would never recommend using it for work in any case or sensitive information like your Google Drive, calendar, email and such. Claude is more like an Excel. It just does things and it mostly gets it right. There is one thing annoying with the Claude, both free and actually like $20 subscription because Claude has very extensive system prompt and consumes a lot of tokens. So you hit limitations all the time. And this is one of the reasons why I upgraded to Max Plan because I just realized that I use Claude like all the time and waiting two, three hours when I hit limitations just completely messes up with my workflow. After upgrading to Max Plan, I never hit limitations, even though I do deep research, even though it uses a bunch of tools, I process two hour meeting recordings. Never did I hit limitations yet. Is it hard to use just because kind of it's developer preferred tool. The thing is that chat interface, like console of Claude, the app that you download, you can also use it both on your phone, by the way. It's just like a chatbot, like any other. It has projects and one of the innovations has been artifacts. You can also code inside chatbot. And actually for my AI second brain, the 100 use case database I created was built on Claude with filtering, with everything. And recently they launched that the artifacts can use Claude API. You can literally now not just code some fun interfaces, but you can have AI features inside your little programs without even hosting it anywhere else. Everything works in one place. And the My AI Second Brain literally works like a memory feature. So instead of, for example, in ChatGP relying on that it saves memory, something it doesn't save, it's also insanely limited. And again, it's not secure and I would not recommend it now. My AI Second Brain acts like a long-term memory for Claude. If I work on something in a chat with Claude and I want to switch it to another project or another chat, I just literally say it save a process, document everything what we did now. I open a new chat and all that information is already there and I just can recall it and continue working. Does it cost more? Actually, Claude and ChatGPT, like the base kind of like a pro plan is exactly the same price, I think. Should you switch to Max? It's really up to you and if you have a budget. I've been putting it aside because 200 a month feels significant, but it's going to be really hard if ever to cancel this because it just transformed my productivity completely. Why should you switch? Let me flip this question. Why would you keep using the system that doesn't really remember or nor you own the data? And I'm not here to bash ChatGPT. It brought a AI to masses, but the creators of Anthropic are also people who worked at ChatGPT and left because of security concerns. And I think everything of that is kind of surfacing now. They have been investing and in driving AI research and actually probably allowed everybody to understand what's really happening in the background in AI brain. And Claude has overtaken ChatGPT in all the coding benchmarks. So if you actually want to put together something in a chat interface just by talking, Claude is the way to go. Claude also has an app like ChatGPT, you can talk to it like you would with a real-time voice on ChatGPT. Can you check if I received any emails regarding Prompt Engineering Conference? Okay, so now it's ch checking my email. Several recent emails about a Prompt Engineering Conference in London. The conversation involves Mark Paulikowski, 
a mic. Okay, now, now it's a sensitive information. Okay, so the only kind of limitation, because Claude has these tools, which is kind of like MCP, so it has web search, drive, Gmail, and calendar. So this is developed and baked in by and traffic on mobile version as of this video now you can't access your custom mcps however i think that it's just a matter of time when they just full-blown allow your custom integrations and then once that happens i can also use voice on cloud to ask like what did i read what did I do yesterday or are instructed to block time on my calendar and so on. In my community, we have been bullish on traffic and Claude. It's absolutely incredible. Claude code is the whole other beast on its own and every developer swears by it, how amazing it is. Also, Claude's API for agentic workflows is amazing because Claude, again, for developers, the reason it's so good is because it's fantastic at using function calling or tool use, which is basically what you want your agent to do, right? You want it to execute your tools or functions properly. Obviously, I'm not associated with Claude. I'm just like absolutely heavy user. And you can see it by my investment. And I like to talk on this channel about the solutions that I personally pay for and use. And I made a video of how I use my AI second brain inside of Claude and also how I program my AI second brain inside Claude because you don't need anymore to go to settings or write a code or establish functionalities for the software. You can connect that software the MCPs to another software and then let Claude do troubleshooting, error handling, like setting up functionalities. It's just the moment you like I promise to you, the moment you experience that, your whole world opens up to the idea that now you have this power just to say what you want a software to do. And then AI goes and actually does the whole thing for you. And you just sit and you just watch it work. It probably sounds hyped up, but it is the reality in the world we live in right now. If you use Claude, please let me know in the comments below. Is your experience the same?